All right, Coach, you, don't have, you go down to Clinton, you beat Presbyterian. Um, close game into the fourth quarter. When you went back and looked at the film, what did you like? What still has to be worked on? Uh, it's always a work in progress. Uh, you're never satisfied. Uh, we did play hard uh, in spots. We looked uh, really good. And in some spots, uh, wasn't quite uh, up to par. But 4-0. Uh, by, uh, I guess, the grace of God. Uh, we, we've had some close ones, and um, that game there, it was close uh, until the last quarter, and then then we made some big plays. Uh, I was excited to see some uh, big plays from an offensive perspective. Um, the touchdown that uh, uh, Blake had and then uh, – the play pass where uh, JL got behind him, and uh, it, it was a uh, it was a game that was uh, didn't really feel comfortable uh, for about three quarters, and then finally we we kind of put ourselves in a position, uh, got better as the game went on, uh, playing defense, uh, made some plays, and then. Uh, did enough in the kicking game to to help ourselves. Best defensive effort of the year in your mind? They only gave up seven, but in terms of the tape, was it the best they've looked? Um, we're still not there. Uh, we're still not there. Uh, I think it was nine of 18 uh, that they converted on third down. Uh, needs to be lower. But the, the big thing is uh, we only gave up total of seven points. Uh, there were some uh, opportunities to get off the field earlier uh, in probably 10 to 12 uh, different series. But, uh, you know, we, we just kind of, you know, we good on first down, good on second down, uh, and then third down uh, we – have a bust or we have a uh, mistake somehow along the way and uh, and they kept moving the sticks. Brandon Goodson uh, continues to make progress at quarterback. He's, he's deep into his career now. How, how would you rate his decision making to this point and are you getting enough out of him in terms of yards carrying the football? Well, I, I think the, the big thing uh, – Brandon's done a nice job taking care of the ball. Uh, he he can make big plays. He's already shown that. Uh, did a nice job as far as uh, directing the offense in um, an option scheme. Uh, you're going to have times that you get fooled, and uh, there was uh, a couple of those times in the game. But uh, for the most part, I, I think he's done very well. Back to the defense, what are they going to see this week when they play Western Carolina? You said, wow, before I even finished the question. Yeah. Uh, a lot of speed. Uh, some uh, outstanding athletes. Uh, schematically, Western is uh, is at the top of their game. Uh, we have a great challenge. Uh, if, uh, if we don't play uh, up to uh, – a high level, then uh, it's going to be very difficult in that game to, to win it. Uh, we're going to have to be a complete team. We're going to have to get it done offensively, defensively, and in, in the kicking game. Uh, we're going to have to be able to, to get off the field on third down. And, uh, you know, by uh, applying pressure, by making sure we're in the, the right coverage, and uh, then when we're uh, with the ball offensively, we're going to have to be productive. Uh, they've changed their defense. They have a new defensive coordinator and Coach Wiley. I've known him a long time. Excellent ball coach. Uh, it's a 50 defense, odd front, and uh, they'll blitz you from uh, from the nickel seats. I mean, he brings it, uh, and we're going to have to do a great job of recognizing the front and understanding what we can run against uh, particular looks, whether it be the reduction side or whether it be 
what we call the oaky side. Tyree Adams is Western's quarterback. And how dangerous he is he with his legs, and, and is, it, is he a guy you just flat go after, or is it more about containing him? <laughs> He's a complete player, uh, very talented, uh, outstanding speed, quickness. Uh, he's got a tremendous arm. Uh, some of the throws that he's made this year have been, quite frankly, a uh, guy could be in the pros. Uh, he's got a cast of uh, receivers, all of them uh, big-time players. I mean, that they're, they're really good. And then uh, their, their backs, uh, they got one that's a potential All-American. Uh, I, you know, he's already been uh, All-Southern Conference, I, I don't know how many years, three in a row. But uh, he's, uh, he's an outstanding talent. And um, then you, you look at them as far as their offensive line, they're big, they're physical. Uh, they, they do some great stuff. And... Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us, but uh, we'll uh, we'll do our best to get it done. All right, Chase, you had to sit out a week, a little bit of a leg injury. You came back and played at Presbyterian. What was that like to have to sit and then come back? Oh, I was very eager to get back. I mean, it, like of course it hurt not to play last week, but then it was actually a good call for me to come back like healthy against Western Carolina. And the Presbyterian was a good game to get my confidence back, get it back in the swing of things. It was pretty nice. That game was tight going, heck, into the fourth quarter. Uh, talk us through the game and then what finally clicked and you were able to open up some breathing room. Uh, we were just not executing like we know we should have been. And then once we <clears throat> held in, um, we basically, like, we had Blake make plays, Lennox make plays, Andre and I make plays, everybody just made plays all around. And our defense stepped in, of course, like they always do, and put us in a great position to like, spread the lead out and then get a good win what does it do for the offense when Blake rips off a 94 yard touchdown run on the first play from scrimmage what's that like I mean it's actually very a stress reliever because one play and then you're already done with our offense it's like we like having the ball for a long time and there's a lot of execution that needs to be played so once you get a one play for a 94 however long it was touchdown it's just like okay all right we're done <laughs> now go ahead defense do your thing where did Lennox McAfee learn to throw the ball like that no. Gosh, I mean, <laughs> uh, that's just how he is. I mean, I told him he throws the ugliest balls, but at least it got there. But And it was a touchdown. That's all we cared about. So, I mean, he thinks he's Peyton Manning sometimes. But, I mean, you try to humble him in some times with his form because it's very ugly. But good for him. Talking with Wofford's Chase Nelson. Um, all right, Western Carolina this week. What do you recall from last year's game? Uh, they always play us tight. They don't have that linebacker. They had number 27. He was really good. But as – We've seen they have not lost a step at all. So uh, it's going to be a challenge, of course, but I feel like we're going to have a good game week and a good game plan coming into that game. All right, Daryl. Team is 4-0. and um, Very close games. In fact, the PC game was close going into the fourth quarter. How has this team been able to figure out ways to win? Uh, we're just really going out every game, every play, taking one play at a time, not trying to look too far ahead and always fighting, never giving up. Because there's a couple games, Mercer game, we could have just given up throwing in the towel. But on the sideline, we were all saying, don't give up, game's not over yet. And we got that fight in us that we never give up on a, on a game. Yeah, you go back to the Mercer game, they have the ball in the red zone twice in the fourth quarter. If they score a touchdown either time, it's probably over. You kept them out and held them to field goals. What, what about this team in the red zone has been so good this year? It's that bend but don't break mentality. You can make you, we make mistakes all the time. We're not perfect by any means, but once we get down there, we know we can't let them in the end zone. We have faith in our offense to go down there and put the ball in the end zone every time. So I know as a defense, if we can say don't let them get a touchdown, hold them three points, we'll be fine. You know the linebacking court is very deep this year. Uh, what's it like playing with some of the younger guys like Datavius and Jaira, who are really just getting going as sophomores? It's great to see young guys be able to come in and make an impact immediately. Um, they're young, they're always full of energy, and um, they bring a new, a new energy to the team also.